Hello everyone, in this capsule video we will discuss speedly the PCOD criteria or the Rotterdam Consensus criteria. So there are three criteria and two of the three if present can be taken as a diagnosis of PCOD that is polycystic ovarian disease. The first criteria is clinical or biochemical hyperandrogenism. That means if there are clinical signs of hydrogenism present, then be, that can be taken as a criteria. What are the signs? Can be hirsutism or deep voice etc. The biochemical criteria is not well defined, but you can go for serum levels of DHEA or A4. Second is oligomenorrhea and anovulation. Oligomenorrhea is defined as less than 6 period per year and the signs of anovulation can be detected by the various tests, tests of ovulation available. I have a video, you can go for that. Polycystic ovarian appearance on USG or sonography. Polycystic ovarian appearance defined as a more than total 12 follicles in both of the ovaries on the early follicular phase. A necklace appearance is more uh, specific for PCOD. Ovarian volume more than 10 ml combined of both every can be taken as a positive criteria on the sonography. So of, the, of these three criteria more than two or more than two needed for uh, uh, for diagnosis. Thank you friends.